Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a complete walkthrough of the latest design team project that I have done for Miss Tsunami Rose. Um, I will link, I will have her um, shop linked in the description box below so you guys will have easy access to her shop. Um, the kits that I used were um, calendar uh, kits. I used two different ones. I used the hummingbird as well as the roses, and I also used some of the big elements, the um, file folders, as well as the journaling cards. And so let's begin. So the first part of this is, it is, this is a journal, but it's something more. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do not your traditional junk journal. Um, and that's something about me as I often try to do things differently. <laughs> so this is the first part. Um, this is just a clip and it goes, you know, inside and it is a little chunky right now, but all these pieces, they can be removed. So this is what it looks like. Um, and there's the other side. Okay. And like I said, it's very chunky right now but you will be able to remove everything. So this is, I forgot to take this part out. Um, this is a belly band and I have the parchment paper because there's holes on the lace on, underneath. And when I glued this ribbon on top, I didn't want it to stick to the back. So this is a belly band, um, a small little thing right here. You've got some pages to go with it. Uh, this is the paper that I used within the journal and this is two smaller belly bands on this side same thing you've got two of the piece uh, papers there and one here okay now once you get into it this my original idea for this was for it to be a desktop planner but as I created it, I kind of wanted to leave it to where it was malleable. You could make it into whatever you wanted it to be. So all of the embellishments and all of the add-ins are what is from Tsunami Rose. And that's where the idea came from, was her work. I really wanted to put it all together as if it was a planner or a calendar. So these are obviously things to do. And on the other side of this are more things to do. And these are her journaling cards. They're in, if you just do a search on her site for, um, for calendar, you, they'll pop up. And these are the calendar pieces that I use. And you get an entire month in addition, or an entire month. Yeah, that's one month. You actually get an entire year in addition to the year that I've already put in here. That makes sense. So this is actually a combination video. This is going to be um, because I will off I will be offering this for sale. So this will be the the video flip through for Etsy as well as the look what I did show and tell for for Miss Daisy. And so these are the file folders. These are all printed on coffee dyed paper. Now these file folders actually do two things. One, they allow you to have a file folder right here, but it also divides up your pages, if you can see. And so each one of the pages is a pocket. So they don't all have something in them, but this one does. And I didn't put something in all of them because it was already very, very chunky because I have so much in here already. And so this is one of the calendars. And like I said, this was meant to be like a desktop calendar. You have your little calendar piece here, you write here, and you have, you know, this is just a beautiful page. You can put anything on this. You can clip onto it. You can glue onto it. Um, so there's that. And this is some coffee stained paper that I created specifically for this project. Um, let's put that back. Oh, and these are double sided too. So there's a, a month on each side. 
So this, this particular one is the hummingbirds. And I liked the hummingbirds. I thought they were really pretty. And so each one of these images are actually um, gessoed. So there is gesso on a lot of things. We've got some lace trim on the edge of this paper. Uh, this one's actually kind of neat. I liked this. So this is one of the um, pages. And it's a card, but you've got so much writing space. On top of the fact that you can write on the paper itself. So with this particular construction of this journal, I used a combination of techniques. I combined the technique of sewing with your traditional junk journaling with the hidden spine that you typically see in photo albums and mini albums. So this is another, you know, things to do with another file folder here up top. another pocket and inside this pocket you will get three more file folders to put wherever you would like. And I believe that's it as far as the um, stuff inside the pockets. But this is just a very large piece of work here. Once it's completely fully open, let's see if I can back you guys up a little bit. Yeah. Once it's completely opened, it is quite large. Because like I said, I wanted this to be a desktop organizer, a desktop planner. It's another journaling spot more lace on the edge of the pages. And for those of you who have not seen me construct this, this project took me about two weeks to complete. And that's with working on it nearly every day. This is one of the ones that came from the roses kit. And here's another pocket pocket is empty, but it is another pocket. Some more to-do list. Another insert. There are a total of six pages like this and a total of four inserts like this. Each one of these pages is a pocket. So you have six pockets in addition to the pages themselves that you can add on, glue to, write on, doesn't matter. And each insert has a total of two, four, six, eight pages. So you've got the full page here with the lace on both sides. And you also have the lace on this side, a blank, I would say blank, but it's, it's actually coffee stained with lace. So I really liked the look of lace on this particular project, so I tried to utilize it a lot. Um, and then you've got lace on this side as well. So you've got, oh, and on top of that, I forgot to mention, you have lace on the bottom here as well. And I really thought that they would lend themselves very well to Miss Daisy's collections because they're just, they're so pretty and so elegant. Like it just, it matches so well. No matter what you pick, it just, it matches so beautifully. And I love it. And this is also double sided. And another piece. Like I said, this was meant to be a desktop calendar. So there are months and to do lists everywhere. Um, the folders to add for more organization. Some more of the hummingbirds. Love the hummingbirds. A 
another folder here, another calendar month. So there's a total of 12 calendar months. Um, there are six folders attached to the journal and there are three that are free of the journal, if you will. Like, they're just in a pocket. Free for you to use however you'd like. So there are 12 pages of, um, not pages, but there are 12 calendar pieces for you to use. And there are also uh, I didn't even count these. There's two four, six, eight. There's eight. There's eight of these. And then there's also three of these. And each one of these um, clipboard notes each have four pieces of Daisy's ephemera on here. So as you can see, um, there, her work just really, really is so easy to work with and it's just so easy to come up with inspiration. I absolutely love this. This is fantastic. Um, it was so much fun to create. It did take a long time to do because like I said, a lot of the stuff was like, um, I, I hand did a lot of the stuff just for this journal. Like I actually went through and gessoed every single one of her images. Um, just to kind of add to the elegance and the lightness of everything. This lace was fun to put on. <laughs> the paper was a lot of fun to create too. And I don't know, I just, I really liked playing with the images. They're, they're just, they're a lot of fun to play with. So really this can be done however you'd like it. You can fold it up however you'd like. If you want to just do it like this, you can. It might be a little chunkier, but it's still possible. I happen to, the way that I did it is I kind of did every other one. So I would start on this one, and then I would flip to this one, and then this one. Let's stay down. And then this one last. And that's how I personally did it, but that's the great thing about this particular journal is you can really do so much with it. It is not limited. It is not restrictive in any way. It's just, it's so versatile and you can just do so, so much with it. I had a lot of fun creating this and I can't wait for the next project to do for her design team. So um, I will leave the link in the box for you guys to go check out her, um, her store. And um, I will have this up for sale on my Etsy shop uh, shortly. So if anybody is interested in that, it will be available. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.